So, hi, Pascal. Firstly, can you tell us a little bit more about Spotify's platform strategy to date? Sure. Um, so the way that Spotify works with partners and with platforms with, with different uh, devices where Spotify can be played is, is very simple. It's We want to be the music service for all our users, and we want to offer all the music to those users at any time that they want to consume it. So we want to make it as easy as possible to listen to all the 20 million tracks that we have in our catalog. And that means being on all the devices that they use. So that is TV, as we are here today. It's audio, it's in the car, it's basically anywhere where you have a speaker, that's where you want to listen to music. So our strategy is to make that happen. So we have a couple of SDKs and some things in our, in, our, in our back pockets to be able to offer to partners. And then we're choosing partners as we go along to launch with, because we, we're a small company, right? We can't launch with everybody at the same time. So we are really focused on the experience for our end users. We want to create the best experience possible. So what we do is we, we work with partners that share that vision, that see music not just as a couple of bits and bytes that need to get it to a speaker, so not really just as a technical challenge, but see it as a user experience challenge. So it needs to be really, really good, because um, we don't want people to, to have to go back to other, other systems, use their phone in their house while the TV is there, or, or do some things like technical things like docking a phone. We would like them to be able to listen to music as they want it and be free in, in, in how they listen to that. So we think the experience is very key. So we've launched so far with a couple of, of brands, and we chose to, bra to launch with those brands that we think share that kind of vision of experience. And so we are actually quite proud of the launches that we've done so far. Great. And how do you plan to build on this momentum in 2013? Kind of where we are now is only just the beginning. I mean, on TV, we launched with Samsung in, in October. And before Samsung, we did a couple of kind of set-top box type of launches with Boxy and Western Digital and with Virgin Media here in the UK. Um, that is only just the beginning. Um, in December, we launched Roku and TiVo. And very quickly, you will be able to see Spotify launching on, on, on many different other TV platforms. So we're just getting started. We only have just scratched the surface. Um, by the end of the year, we hope to be on the, on the majority of TVs out there. And does the lean back nature of TV help viewer uptake of the service? I think the lean back nature of TV is really interesting. Um, a lot of people see TV not as the natural place for music because they say, well, it's a video device. We see that totally different. We see the TV as the number one consumption device in your house. It, it has a pride of place on my wall in the, in the living room. Actually, my seats are kind of like turned towards the TV, right? So it, that shows how important it is for a user. And we see that as an essential place to, do, to experience music as well. Music is not just a couple of, of, of little digits on a screen, right? As, as CD players used to be. Music is a rich experience that uh, conveys emotion and, and it's, it's way more than just, just having a little bit of, 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 of audio. So TV is a great device to expand that to. So we've created a really, um, a really great interface, a really great experience around music in the Samsung TVs and in other TVs that we're launching with. And so we see TV not just as a, as a lean back experience, we see it as like the consumption device in the house. It's a gorgeous screen, so we may as well use it, right? And finally, do second screen devices figure in your TV plans? Second screen devices, third screen devices for us are very important. We know that um, users that use Spotify on multiple devices, let's say the desktop and the mobile phone, or the mobile phone and the TV, um, are much more engaged with Spotify, play much more music of Spotify than users of only one of those devices. So as you go from one device to two devices to three devices, the more you, use, you start to use Spotify. Um, so it is currently already a reality for us that users use multiple devices. If you have Spotify on your TV, you're most likely to also have it in your pocket in your phone. And it could be that you're listening to the, to the music on your TV because that has big speakers and it can fill your living room. But at the same time, you're like looking for music, you're editing your playlists, you're doing other things on your phone. And that happens at the same time. So we know that we need to cater to that and we're looking into how we can make that experience even better. Currently, that is already integrated. Whatever you do on your phone, like changes you make to your playlist are immediately replicated on TV and also on your audio devices and, and elsewhere. Um, we're looking into how to make that even, even richer, how to make those two devices even get closer together. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a total reality for us that we have to live with. And I think it's, it's a very, very interesting part for us to innovate in. Perfect. And what, lastly, what do you think of this year's event? 
I think it's great. Um, I think it, the, the size and the, and, and the people that are here is terrific. I've had a couple of really great meetings today. I'm, I'm really impressed with the number of, with the quality of the delegates that you've been able to bring together. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely be here again next year.